Okay, off on another day of troublemaking, driving the car that General Motors says doesn't exist, and answering some of the questions about why there aren't any more plug-in cars. Now, don't forget, General Motors says that there's no car that, no batteries that go more than 40 miles, or even up to 40 miles, so they can't make the Volt, they have to do battery research. So basically they're saying that this car doesn't exist. They're saying that these batteries don't exist because these batteries go, you know, up to 140 miles, 150 miles in a pinch on one charge. So why can't General Motors use these batteries? These batteries, General Motors says, don't exist. They have to do research on much more expensive lithium batteries. Uh, these are nickel metal hydride batteries, which were bought up. The control of the patents was bought up by General Motors in 1994. In October 10, 2000, General Motors sold control of the batteries to Texaco. On October 16, 2000, Texaco emerged with Chevron. The next year, Chevron filed a lawsuit against the maker of this car, Toyota, after which the battery line was stopped and no more of these batteries can be made. No more of these batteries can be sold. We can't buy replacement batteries. They're just not available. So therefore, General Motors says they don't exist. Chevron says you can't make them. And General Motors says, well, we just can't make the Volt. We just don't have the batteries. So the problem is that all the oil companies will let people have are neighborhood electric vehicles that only go 25 miles an hour. Now you can drive those vehicles in this little neighborhood here really, really uh, as much as you want. You can have fun, but you can't go out on the big highway in a neighborhood electric vehicle. It only is possible to go 35 miles an hour, and you can only go uh, 25 miles an hour, and you can only go on streets where the speed limit is uh, 35. So going on Coast Highway in a, in a neighborhood electric vehicle would be impossible. You know, but in a real electric car like this, um, you can go anywhere you want, and that's what we're just about to do. Uh, of course, you can see we don't have a lot of power. We can't pass up these big SUVs. It, we just have an SUV ourselves. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not that bad. It isn't as good as an EV1, but it travels. An electric car only has basically one moving part, the motor rotor, and it's going in the same direction as the, as the wheels. Like a regular gasoline car has thousands of parts going in different directions. They'd have to be coordinated by very delicate electronics and mechanical means. The electric car basically runs on electric fields and electrons and batteries. So why can't you have this car? Well, it's because General Motors says it doesn't exist. Chevron says you can't use the batteries. Toyota was sued to stop them from making the batteries. And General Motors says that these batteries are non-existent. But then, therefore, I guess we just aren't riding along. <laughs>